everybody, it's me, Chelsea. It's award season, and why would you ever get off the internet to go out and watch all the films nominated for Best Picture? Beats me. That's why I'm gonna give you quick recaps so you can stay right there. Never stop, never moving, you guys. This is La La Land. Okay, so this movie is about LA and dancing. Everyone's dancing in the middle of the highway, and it seems very dangerous, but also very impressive. Like, how did they shut down the whole highway? And also, everyone knows the same choreography. It's... Okay, Brian, don't look at me that way. I know it's just a movie. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And then Emma Stone is practicing lines in her car and not paying attention. So then Ryan Gosling flips her off like a real dick. And I don't totally understand what year it's supposed to be, or if they know what year it's supposed to be, but maybe it doesn't matter. Then Emma runs into Ryan Gosling while he's playing piano jazz, but he acts like a real dick to her. Again! Stop being such a dick, Ryan Gosling! God. Then Emma goes to another party, and guess who's there? Mr. Piano Dick, Ryan Gosling, playing a keytar in an 80s cover band. So I guess it's supposed to be later than the 80s? But guys, I still don't really understand when it's supposed to be. Then everyone dances some more. Then more dancing. And then, you guessed it, more dancing. In the sky this time. Because why not? And now she's in love with Ryan Gosling, even though she had a boyfriend. I don't fully understand if the other guy still thinks he's her boyfriend. I'm not entirely too concerned about it because he was annoying and way less hot. And then John Legend shows up. Well, that was La La Land. And even though Emma and Ryan Gosling don't end up together, I think we all learned a valuable lesson about dancing. You can break into dance literally anywhere, and everyone around you will just know the choreography. <laughs> Stop looking at me that way, Brian. I know, it's just a movie. I get it.